Hello everyone, welcome to Study Pulse. In this video, we are going to explore the application steps and eligibility criteria for the Shibidon Scholarships. Shibidon Scholarships enable outstanding emerging leaders from all over the world to pursue a one-year master's degree in the UK. This scholarship is fully funded and it includes flight fees, accommodation fees, and course fees. You will live and study in the UK for a year, during which time you will develop professionally and academically, network extensively, experience UK culture, and build lasting positive relationships with the UK. Let's get started on the application procedure, eligibility criteria, and how to stand tall among other applicants. So we are right here on the application portal. On this portal, we can easily navigate to the various sessions by going to scholarships. Then on scholarship, we can easily see who can apply the application timeline, the guidance, and how to find the course. So the first important thing is to look at the application timeline. This will help you to know when the scholarship starts and when the scholarship ends. So we can go to application timeline. Then it says that the application starts 12 September 2023. Then when the application stops, it's 7th November. 2023. You can go further to see the various timelines as when the selection procedure will go on, when the interview will be done, and the others. You have all this information on the application timeline. After getting to know the application timeline, you should look for the eligibility criteria. So you have the eligibility criteria here. To be eligible for a Shibinan scholarship, you must be a citizen of a Shibinan eligible country or territory. I mean, most countries are part of the Shibinan eligible country. Number two, you should return to your country of citizenship for a minimum of two years after your award has ended. Number three, you must have completed all components of undergraduate degree that will enable you to gain entry onto your postgraduate program at the UK university by the time you submit your application. This is typically equivalent to an upper second class honors degree in the UK, but may be different depending on your course and university choice. You must have at least three years of work experience. I will explain further on this one. And then you must apply to three different eligible UK university courses and have received an unconditional offer from one of these choices by 13th July, 2023. So you apply to three different courses. These courses can be similar. It can be in the same university or different universities so that you increase your chance of getting admission as well as getting the scholarship. And then you have an information where your Ineligibility for Shipman Scholarship has been explained in detail. See, I'm not going to go through into this. You can easily navigate to this as well. So having known the eligibility criteria, we can throw more light on the work experience. I have it here. Uh, the eligible types of work experience can be full-time, can be part-time, can be voluntary work, can be paid or unpaid internships, and must be at least two years of work experience. Now, you must also have references. Let's, let's look at what kind of references and how the procedure is. References are an integral part of the Shivanian selection process. You must supply the names of two referees when you submit your application. If your application is progressed to the next stage of the process, you'll be required to upload two reference letters to the online application system by the relevant deadlines. And then you must know that Shevenen will not contact your referees to complete or upload references. It is the applicant's responsibility to obtain and upload references on behalf of the referees. Okay. Now, know that when you are selected for the interview, okay, there's an interview process when you are selected, you'll be notified. The courses you choose must be full-time, and it must start in autumn term, usually September or October. It must be taught masters, 
it must lead to a master's degree qualification based and also based in the UK. And then these are courses that are not eligible, courses that are part time distance learning, DAD, and others. Yes. You can find the eligible courses here by clicking on this one. Find eligible courses. Once you do that, you can easily use the search finder. For instance, you want to look at whether there is a master's program in mathematics. Then you click on search. Then you will be able to see the master's program that are eligible for the shipping. And so for instance, we see mathematics with data science for industry, MSc, which is offered in the University of Park. Okay? So courses within this search finder are eligible for the scholarship. So far as they are within the eligible master's program, as the description indicated. Okay, so these are the information for you to be able to apply for the Shevenant Scholarship. For more information, you can comment on the comment section so that I'll be able to receive your questions and answer you with favorite explanation of the Shevenant Scholarship.